Hi guys, today we're talking about the Futaba 900 MHz redundancy system for the 2.4. This is the transmission system and this is the 900 receiver. Initially, the suggested connections for the 2.4 and the 900 is done in this way. Through the FDLS, we connect the 2.4 receiver that outputs S bus 2 and the 900 receiver that outputs also to the FTLS. Now the FTLS will connect to a multi-box and the multi-box you can connect a S-Pass servo which you program whatever channel that it needs to take and for regular PWM servos we connect a SBD2 or the S-Bus decoder that decodes the S-Bus into PWM signal for the regular PWM servos. So this is the typical way of connecting the redundancy setup. Now Futaba recently introduced a new receiver called the R7308 receiver. And this receiver amazingly simplifies the entire connections. And this is how you do it. First of all, we need to change the receiver from a single receiver connection to a dual receiver link and this is the way we set it up first of all we keep the transmitters off next we connect power to the receiver To know that it is in the single receiver link, one red LED light is on. Therefore, we press the dip switch and hold. About 5 seconds, it will become orange. Keep holding until it becomes green and let go. At this point, you must let go and you will see that this is a single blink of green. Now single blink of green is dual receiver link off. To turn it on, we press once and let go. Now it's double blink. Double blink means the dual receiver link is now on. To confirm this, we press the dip switch and hold until the orange light comes up and let go. Next, we remove the power from the receiver and when we put it back, now you see two LED lights. This means that this is the 2.4 primary receiver and the bottom LED light indicates the connections to the second receiver. Now red means not successful, green means successfully connected. So we will demonstrate the connections through the servos and the receiver that we will connect up. We are using a PWM servo from Tamazo into channel 1. We use a A702 SBUS servo from Futaba and we connect into one of the SBUS outputs for the 7308. Now the 7308 has many modes where you can actually decide what output we want from the different output from 4 to 8 and they can vary from SBUS to PWM signals when you change the modes. When we change the 7308 into dual receiver link, the bottom slot is no longer as bus 2 but awaiting signal from the second receiver which is the 900. So the bottom connection is no longer as bus 2. So do not connect an SBUS 2 servo or sensor to the slot below. Once we have all this connected, we can turn on the transmitter.
you plug in the power and you see both LED light becomes green meaning you say that the connection from both 2.4 and 900 is successfully connected if I were to move the servos both are moving on channel 1 now how do I then know that the systems are working properly very simple I remove the connection of the 900 okay, you see that the lights will change from green to red for the secondary receiver servos are still moving now we plug it back on next we will stop the 2.4 transmission by a change of a system from fast test to SFHSS yes and this receiver is a fast test receiver so it receives no connection from the transmitter on 2.4 but 900 is still well connected and therefore you see that it is also transmitting I hope you enjoyed the setup now a point to note to get this to work is to take note of the serial number of the 7308 receiver now at the back of the receiver there is the serial number if the first four digit is below 2253 then you need to update the receiver in order for this setup to work the download for the update is available on the Futaba website it can be updated through the CIU tree using a PC or you can download the update file onto the transmitters like the 16IZ or the 16IZS and you can update the receiver through the SBUS2. I hope you've enjoyed this video and it served you well. Please like this video and share with your friends who you think may benefit. Thank you for watching.